What we have for you today here is something rather unique and this is the Comica RGB U mic or U mic, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna go with U mic. So as the name suggests, what's so unique is because of the RGB itself. So if we take a look at the back here, what we're gonna get is a two-in-one audio cable. So you can convert between type A to C for one end, one desktop stand, and then the USB microphone itself. And this is a 48 kilohertz or 24-bit audio recording microphone. And it also has intelligent denoise. I have already done some voiceover using this microphone. Don't know if you realize it. It's actually, I think, one of those gaming tests that I can link to you at the top right corner there. But in today's video, I'm gonna unbox it, give you a full demonstration and comparison with our current left microphone. It's not a one-to-one -one comparison, but I hope you get the idea in terms of the audio quality. The box opens up this way. Also, happy 10 years of anniversary to Comica as well. Oh, so opening up, what we get is the microphone itself in this very nice foam packaging. I'm gonna leave this aside for now because we also have a lot of ports and buttons. Then this is the user manual plus a Comica sticker and also the warranty card. Not gonna touch this. Silica gel, don't eat that. <laughs> and this is the USB cable. So like what I told you earlier, you can convert one end to either type A or type C. I'm just gonna show it to you here. So it's a very basic cable, type C on this end, type A on this end, but we can get a type C there. So that's what I mean by converting between type A and type C. And then the unique thing about this desktop stand is that it's covered in wood texture or at least the looks of a wood and you also have a creepy base at the bottom here. So how you're gonna mount this is actually just stabbing this like this. And there you go. This is the Comica RGB you make in terms of how it looks. So before we turn on the microphone to look at the RGB, I wanna take you through what is available in terms of ports. Uh, we have a charging port, we'll get more into that later, 3.5mm audio jack for your headphones for audio monitoring and then this is where you plug in your phone or your laptop into the USB Type-C port. The top part here is rather funky so it can actually be rotated and then it can also be tilted a slight bit to point it directly to your mouth because this C logo here, the Comica logo, is where the front of the microphone is located. At the back here, we also have a gain knob. This is a encoder type of wheel, so there's no physical feeling in terms of what you're gonna get. More into that later, I guess. Then, this is a reverb effect mode selector. So, if you press it, then I think you can select up to three levels of reverb. We'll also demonstrate that later. Then, second button here is the RGB button. Of course, you can toggle between, I think it's seven different RGB modes. So, we'll also get into that later. And at the bottom here, you got a standard quarter 20 inch screw if you want to use it with a boom mic. Okay, so at the front here, below all of these RGB panels, we also have a mic mute button. And if we plug it in, this RGB actually responds to what mode you are in or how loud you are talking into the microphone. So, once you plug it in, RGB turns on. Right now, what happens is actually it is responding to the gain of the microphone. So, for example, uh, I'm turning the gain knob right now. So, you can see I'm turning. And then it shows how much gain that I'm actually using it at. So, for example, I want to use it at this gain volume. I'm going to leave it for a while. Then the RGB will go back to the peaking level. So if I speak louder, then it will become redder. If I speak softer, then it will be here. So the second RGB mode here is technically the reverse of the first one. If I speak louder, then you can see the red color goes down instead of top. Also depending on how you want to use it. And then the third world is kind of funky. So it's left and right. One goes to the top, one goes to the bottom. If I speak louder, then you can see one goes to the red at the top, the other one goes red at the bottom. 
oh, getting really tired, I need to turn up the game. <laughs> and then the fourth RGB mode is technically real-time sampling with some effects going on. So if I speak louder, then you can see suddenly there's going to be a red color line going downwards. But if I speak softer, then you can see it's mostly blue and green at going down from the top of the RGB panel. Don't know how to describe this, but I hope this illustration will let you know how it actually works. And then this one is faster, but from bottom to top. And then this one is a bit funkier. As you can see, it's mostly variations of the same effect or similar type of effect. And then this one is basically just an RGB color cycling mode. Uh, this is the last one actually, but I don't think this offers that much utility in terms of the RGB panel. And one thing that I like the most is actually the first one since it is very informative in terms of the audio level and I can know by just looking at the microphone if the audio is peaking. And if you don't like the RGB, you can just hold the RGB button and then it will turn off. And then the mic mute button, if we press it, then you can see it goes all the way down. That means it is not working at all and it's not picking up any audio because it's muted. And you can see at the bottom here, there are two more LEDs. This one is the status LED. So if I mute it, it will become red. If I unmute it, oh, unmute it, then it will become blue color. This right side LED is actually kind of like a battery indicator because for whatever reason, this microphone has a built-in battery. So I don't really know the purpose of why, but according to Comica's illustration, you are supposed to use it with your phone and then this microphone wouldn't drain your phone's battery instead, something like that. And you can also plug in one charging cable to this port so you can charge the microphone or keep the microphone using a separate power input while your phone is not getting drained in terms of battery by the microphone. But that aside though, this microphone doesn't support pass-through charging. So if you plug in your charger to this port and then this port to your phone, it doesn't charge your phone. So time for the audio test then. The RGB you make as what we mentioned earlier, it captures 48 kilohertz of audio at 24 bits. And they also advertise something called intelligent denoise. And from what I've heard, yes, the noise flow is really, really low. And from what I have seen in terms of the audio waveforms, I don't really have to do much to clean up the background noise to make it clean. So here's a very quick audio sample. What should we read? A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm gonna repeat once again by changing to the other microphone. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And I hope you can hear that the audio quality coming out of the Comica you mic, RGB you mic is actually very clean, very good, and it's really just a plug and play microphone. Okay, so that audio test just now wasn't exactly the best, but I can assure you that this voiceover was made using the Comica RGB you mic in the studio. Actually, this is in front of the editing work then, but yeah, here you go. This is the real audio quality that you are gonna listen to when you use this microphone. Not you, but your friends are gonna listen to you when you're using this microphone. And also, let's test out the reverb. So now the reverb has been turned off. If I press the button once, then you can hear this is reverb level one. And this is reverb level two. This is reverb level three. And now we are back to zero reverb. If you don't have a sound card for your PC or laptop, you can technically plug in your headphones to this port and then you can listen to the audio coming out of it. Technically it works, but I wouldn't suggest you to do so. So for the price of 199 ringgit Malaysia for this microphone or 59 US dollars, I would say this is surprisingly affordable in terms of what it has to offer and also what it can do. Sound quality is good and the uniqueness in terms of the RGB isn't just for looks, it's actually really functional and also offers a bit more utility. So the price, real good.